sneakerheads and basketball enthusiasts alike. This is the only land, and uh, welcome back. Um, I have my can in the way. Um, we are here to discuss the drop list. Obviously, as you can see by the title, this is week eight. I skipped week seven. Uh, long story short, I didn't want to do it. I'm not gonna lie to you. So we're on week eight. Uh, I know one of the main things for this week is the tees. I see a couple of tees here. Is there a collab? Uh, I don't think so. I don't see a collab. I see a lot of tees. All right. Doesn't look like there's going to be a collab this week, which is weird. Why did I feel like there was... I definitely saw something about some type of sneakers, but I'll go what I'll, I'll go based off what Supreme Community has here. Um, I guess we can start off with the should I start off with the tees? There's a there's a skateboard too. Um, yeah, man, screw it. Let's start off with tees. It's the main part of the. Uh, it's the main part of the um, the drop, anyways. All right, so we will start from the top and work our way down. Um, you have the Anna Nicole Smith tee. It's going to be $48. It has the beautiful Anna Nicole. Um, Anna Nicole Smith. Uh, it's like a picture. And then it says Supreme right under the picture. Uh, I assume it's going to come in a bunch of different colors. I'm not even going to go into it. But the tees always come in a bunch of different colors. So that's the first tee, the most liked tee. Then you have the Apes Supreme, I'm sorry, Apes T. It says Supreme and then like it has ape limbs attached to the letters. It's not terrible. For me, it's not great. Uh, that's going to be 38 bucks. Uh, as Like I said, it's going to come in a bunch of different colors. I don't know what colors because it doesn't show them. But it'll come in a bunch of different colors. You... Why is that? One, why is the and Nicole Smith tee more expensive? I don't get that type of stuff. Maybe because the the licensing for the graphic and because it's a bigger graphic, I guess. I don't know. Uh, there's also a toy pile tee that'll be thirty eight dollars as well. And it, I got I gotta zoom in. I can't see what's going on here. I guess it's a bunch of toys, like animal toys, from what I can see. Spelling out Supreme, um, it doesn't show if there's a back to it, so I can only assume that there is no back, that it just, that, that base color on the back as well, just completely blank, which isn't terrible, but I've said it before and I'll say it again, Supreme puts out a bunch of stuff and most of it's garbage and some of it's good. I don't think their tees, for the most part, are that good. They're usually like one tee out of the whole collection. That's that's good. Um, you have a dunk tee with like a face. <laughs> this is pretty hilarious. It's like a a terrible. It's like somebody trying to dunk. Kind of looks like a like a bootleg Michael Jordan or a Air Jordan. Then it's got dolphins in the background and a palm tree. It says Supreme in like. Um, I don't know. I don't know what that, what that lettering is, but it's bad. Um, the T isn't bad, but it looks like something a kid would create. So that would be a no for me. That's going to be 38 as well. Excuse me as my eye is freaking itching. Then you have the fuck T. That will be $48. <laughs> no way, man. This is creative. This is I don't think it's good, but this is creative. It's an image of a candle. Um, and in the smoke of the candle, it says fuck. You, I can't, can't wait till you guys look at this because this... Creative. I'll, I'll definitely give them that. This is very creative. Uh, I think I've said it before. I don't wear like profanity on, on myself. But... That's funny. Definitely funny. I had to take a little sip. Moving on, you have the Miles Davis tee. Let me get a zoom in of that. It's going to be 44 bucks, by the way. Um, it's Miles Davis playing the trumpet. It's like a... I don't even know how you describe that type of graphic. 
But it's Miles Davis playing the trumpet, and then it says Supreme right there. That's not a bad one. That I'll say for sure. That's it should be a lot higher than what it is. I guess people don't know Miles Davis or don't appreciate Miles Davis. I like Miles Davis. Not that I go out and listen to Miles Davis music all the time, but I do like him. Um, so I think that's a pretty cool tea. And then the last tea that is part of this collection is the Not Sorry tea. And to be honest, I don't know how to describe this. I don't, I don't really want to describe this. I hope YouTube doesn't flag me for this image would be the best way I could put it. If this sells out, I don't, I don't know. I really don't know. Hey man, if this is for you, this is for you. Let's leave it at that. Um, it also comes in a, a pin. So I'll put the pin up there. Uh, the tea's gonna be 38, the pin's gonna be eight bucks. Um. <laughs> I don't know. Moving on, you have the FTP Arc Hooded Sweatshirt. It's going to be 158 It's going to come in red with white letters, black with white letters, gray with black letters, purple with white letters, pink, or like a salmon with black letters. Salmon and pink are like the same thing, right? Do we agree? And then a brown with black letters. Um, and then it says Supreme and an Arc, obviously. Um, these are very basic. But people like basic, and I kind of like basic. I think this is just too basic. Uh, I really, I'm, if I go for this, I go for the pink color. Like, if I were to go for this, it'd be just because I need a pink hoodie. Like, I try to get hoodies in all different colors. If I don't have the color, that will, like, motivate me more to, to go for it. So, I don't know. I would go for the pink color, but I can get... Say it every week. I can get this for cheaper anywhere else. So we'll see when it comes to that. Um, I didn't even go over the beanie. I'm sorry. The beanie is going to come in the exact same colors. Uh, no, it's not. It's going to come in purple with white, gray with black, green with white, yellow with uh, black, and black with white letters, and red with black letters. And these are actually much better than the, be much better than the hoodies, if you ask me. Uh, but, yeah, they're nice, but it's like, eh, for me, like, it's not something that I need. I don't need to go in there and get this. And I know these will sell out pretty quickly. Most hats do. So I'm not even going to stress myself if I don't get it. Moving on. Like I said before, you have the bandana tarp side bag. It's going to be 38 bucks. Uh, it comes in red, brown a lime green and black and then along with that uh, you have a bandana large duffel bag and that's gonna be $78 um, these aren't good to me but I don't wear side bags and I don't carry around duffel bags like that so someone likes these because they got upvotes I don't Personal opinion, I don't want to go too deep into that because I think they're ugly. You have an old English rhinestone short sleeve top. It's going to be $78. Uh, it's going to come in green with blue letters, white with red, pink with black, black with white, and brown with, I don't know, like a burgundy type of color. Um... And this actually isn't terrible if it wasn't rhinestone. If it wasn't rhinestone, I think this would be pretty good. And it says it's a jersey. All cotton jersey with rhinestone and embroidered logo. If it wasn't rhinestone, I think I would have that pretty high up. But I think we've discussed stuff like that. Like rhinestones and stuff like that. I just... I'm not going to wear that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry if I add too much personal opinion in my videos, but... These are my videos, and this is my personal opinion on the drop. So, sorry if you're not here for that. Um, I have the Skull New Era, 48 bucks. It basically has a skull on it, in either black or white, and then it says Supreme on the back. It comes in 
a dark blue, gray, green, yellow, red, and black. And I kind of like these. But once again, it's like, I like them, but I don't need them. So I don't really feel the need to like wake up and go get them. I don't feel the need to, to wake up and go get them. And I've discussed that also before. Uh, I don't wear caps or new wearers or stuff like that. They don't fit my hair. They don't fit my head well. So I wear dad hats. Uh, and that's it. And for the most part, I wear only this hat, which is why it's dirty and dingy. So I have to buy myself a new one. Um, oh, you know what? I still have this Supreme uh, Stone Island one that I'm waiting to put on sometime soon. I actually really like this and I can fold it up to make it a dad hat. So I do like this hat. <sighs> random, random tangent. Uh, Supreme Mitchell and Ness Satin Varsity Jacket, $248. So I can only assume it has some type of embroidery or leather or something that's going to... There it goes right there. Satin with fill and quilted cotton twill lining. I'm surprised it's not more. Uh, snap front closure with well hand pockets, blah, blah, blah. Twill logo, applique chest, embroidered logo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that makes sense. The price makes sense. Uh, and it's Mitchell and Ness. Mitchell and Ness is Ari. Just their prices are expensive anyway. So, ah, my damn knee. Um, it says, love all, trust few, 2021. Do wrong to no one on the back. I feel like last year they did something very similar to this. And it comes in a very light blue, like, sky blue like a really light blue white and then black as the base colors it says supreme and then arc on the front and i can show you the other colors on here this black one is pretty nice they really ruined these jackets by putting all those words in the back i think those are garbage uh when they did it last year i thought they were garbage too i don't know i feel like they ruined a lot of pieces where if they just made them simple, they'd sell a lot faster. But Supreme's got a, a bunch of money. They think we're valued at like a billion dollars or something insane. So I don't think Supreme is sweating not being able to sell out of a, a jacket. Uh, cargo pants, 158. Uh, all cotton with drawstring at cuff. It has, we are going back to this. We're going back to the absolutely awful camos. Um, an awful blue camo, an awful army camo. That like red and gray white camo that they've been putting up recently. Or that recently got popular. And then a black one and a forest green one. You guys know how I feel about these terrible camos. I discussed on the last video that I put up how they did really well on that camo. These are garbage. Uh, sorry, <laughs> sorry to tell you that. Uh, I haven't worn cargo pants in a long time. I would wear the the green one or the black one, but for one hundred fifty eight dollars, my motto is, I can get it elsewhere. So, why get it here? Why get it here or pay one hundred fifty eight dollars for it? I'll get it elsewhere. Oh, and more. You have more bandana stuff. Bandana tarp, small duffel bag. Uh, that'll be 68 bucks. You guys know the colors. You saw them. So I'll just flash it on the screen and move along. Uh, reflective dyed camp cap. They remind me kind of of that Stone Island hat, except in way worse colors. These will be 54 bucks. Comes in a blue, like a pink swirl, green, white thing. A black and a green forest thing going on there i think the pink one's the best one to be honest uh i have an affinity for pink so that just might be me but i don't think the hat itself is nice the camp cap let me let me pull this thing out again nah is it, is it the same thing no camp caps have like that that flat surface on the front there and i hate that I think that's what ruins cam caps for me. Uh, I like my Stone Island hat. Sorry. I'm going to stick to that one. 
the they're doing a lot of copies here. Like they'll do one thing and then have a bunch of things for for the drop. I guess uh, this drop was a uh, or this week without a collab was kind of eh. you once again have the old English rhinestones and they're on a beanie. It's gonna be seventy eight dollars. Uh, black, red, white, brown, and light blue or Carolina blue. It kind of looks like. I'm trying not to go into things too much that I don't like, so I'll move along. Uh, embossed logo hooded sweatshirt, 158. This wasn't liked too much, and after jumping in, I see why. Didn't this come out last week? I feel like something like this just recently came out. Uh, it <laughs> comes in black, red, purple, a lime green, and a cream color I don't know what type of strange cream that is it's weird and I don't like consistently saying cream it's making me uncomfortable it's embossed you can you can see it you 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 can see what embossed is it's it's bad this is this is a bad hoodie I'm really I'm really taking a dump on this drop and I don't it's not really my purpose here but it's not really that great of a week <laughs> it's gonna be a lot better the good items, the good items might be carrying this week, as most weeks, but this is a particularly uh, not great one for me. Uh, peacock jacket, all kind with fill, quilted taffeta lining and printed pattern, monkey fist closure with double well hand pocket at lower front and into your chest pocket, whatever that means. It comes in a base green and a base black and white. Uh, the green one is obviously a little bit more colored. Is this a jacket? This isn't bad. Ooh, the inside is nice. This is 100% not for me. Hmm, the black and white's not bad. Can I see the inside of the black and white? No, screw me. All right, cool. This isn't a bad jacket. The black and white, particularly. The green one, I think that's a little too flashy for my taste. For $198, I will think about it. If it doesn't sell out, it'll give me more time to think about it. For now, it's like on the edge for me. Eh. I try not to wear stuff that I... Try not to buy stuff that I know I won't wear more than once. Yeah, if I'm not going to wear it multiple times, then I don't see the reason to buy it. It's a waste of money. Uh... Unless it comes to sneakers, because I have sneakers in here that I have not worn literally ever. Waiting for the right moment, whatever moment that is. Where are those cause? <laughs> Where are those cause fours? Are they threes? Cause fours. Um, what is this? This is the stacked Cordura six panel. It is 48 bucks and it is Supreme logo. Looks like three times and reversed and upside down and backwards. This is reminiscent of like a 90s type of thing. It's nice to me. I think it's nice. It's just, I don't want it. Like I think we can have that opinion on stuff. Hey, that's really nice, but I just, I wouldn't wear it. <laughs> God damn it. Bless me, right? Jesus Christ. Um, One of my favorite items, it's super low. I don't know why it's so low, but it's the Che hooded zip-up sweatshirt. It's acrylic. The thing with this is it's $248, and I'm not doing that, man. I'm not spending two hundred and forty eight dollars on this uh on this zip up, but it is pretty nice. It comes in white uh with a really dark brown che, a black with a yellow che, and then a purple with a lighter than that dark one brown che. Um, these are nice. I can't. It says it says acrylic, but I don't know. Oh. That looks kind of lazy. This looks like something my brother would wear. Definitely for sure. Oh, on the back it says... That doesn't look like English or Spanish. What? What is that? What does that say? 
Ma Masta la vic vic victoria Sien siempre? No, there's no way. Hasta la... It's all crammed together. It could be Spanish. I don't know. I have no idea what that says. This is nice. For $248, it's not that nice. Pretty unfortunate to me. This, I'm flying through this really fast. Or I feel like I'm going through this really fast. There's only three more items. Two of them are the most disliked items on the list. And then we have the accessory. Which isn't really an accessory this week. I feel like I'm missing something. I'm going to check drop, drops by J after this. Uh, reconstructed short sleeve top, $88. I will show you on the screen the colors. And then I will move along because this just isn't for me. This is like a really early 90s type of thing. And we are in 2021. So, wow. The most... <laughs> The most expensive item is the most disliked item for the week. It is the braided leather overcoat, and it's $598. Uh, it comes in black and a creamy color, uh, all natural color, whatever you want to call it. Oh, lambskin leather with jacquard logo, viscose lining, and butt front closure. That makes sense. And then the leather's braided. Braid leather trim at front. This is something maybe my dad would wear. This is nice. For an old guy. I wouldn't wear this. No chance. No chance I would ever put this on. But also, this is $600. And for that, you can go and buy... I don't know. I'm trying to say a Gucci suit. But a Gucci suit is probably going to be a little bit more expensive for this. But you can go and get a really nice suit... For $598 or a really nice overcoat from Saks Fifth for $600 because plus shipping, you're going to look at like $630, $620, $630, sorry, tax and all, the, all that stuff. You can get something really nice somewhere else, but if this is your thing, $598, good luck with that. Uh, the last thing on Supreme Community, and I'm going to double check because I really don't think this is it. Is the unseen Miles Davis? Oh, unseen, as in they don't know what it looks like. Miles Davis skateboard. Oh, they don't know what it looks like. It's gonna be sixty dollars. Basically, what they did is they took the logo from the uh, from the T and just flipped it on a, a skateboard, and just praying to God that that's what it looks like because no one knows. So hopefully, it looks a little bit better than that. That's it. There's nothing else to discuss. This was a really fast one. Uh, because it really sucked. The spring tees really, really sucked. Yeah. I tell you right now, I'm going to go for the Anne Nicole. And I think the rest of the stuff that I was on the fence about, I think they're going to stay on the fence. I might go for Anne Nicole and Miles Davis. If I can get that all in one cart, that'll be beautiful. Uh, and then maybe I'll go for the Miles Davis skateboard as well. But besides that, I don't see myself going for anything else, to be quite frank with you. Uh, it's just not a, it's not a great drop. Or maybe it's a great job for you, but it's not a great job for me. I don't, I'm not a fan of it. So whatever it is, what it is, I come on here and I usually say I'm not a fan of <laughs> What's the premium drops? There's usually just, like I said, a couple things that I like on there. But if you guys liked what I'm doing here, do me a favor and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I've got a ton of unboxings to do. I've got one, two, three, four, five sneakers to unbox. Um, the video for these aren't up yet. The videos for those aren't up yet. Um... The videos for these aren't up yet. I don't even know if I'll make the video for these. These might end up... I might end up waiting for a different colorway and use that one. And return this one. Um, I have a camera unboxing that I just did. I got a ton of stuff coming. Uh, so, like I said, if you guys are looking forward to that, do me a favor. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. This is the only lane I'm out of here. Y'all have a good one.